Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm back with another video from my addictive blogging channel. In this video, I will be telling you guys how you can set the camera shutter options and the smart unlock options by the Notify app. As a lot of people are facing issues in setting them via the Zap app, which is a native app for MS Fit watches. So as you can see in the Zap app, you will find this lab option under the profile section. But a lot of people are not finding the lab option in the Zap app. So that's the issue I am here to solve and this video will be a sick video guys as always and if you are taken to suggest don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification icon because I will be making more videos like this. So let's start. So what you need to do for this is really really simple. If the Zap app the lab option is not visible and you want to use the camera shutter option here and also the smart unlock option. You have to come to the notify app here and you have to connect the MSP GTS to mini with the notify app at first. So to show you guys what I will do is I will come to the bluetooth option of my phone and here you can see that in the other devices the MSP GTS to mini is there but i will remove this device because you will be connecting it afresh on the notify app so i am removing this device and now i will be connecting my msv gts to mini with the help of notify app in the bluetooth devices list so how i will do is i will be coming into the tools section in the mailbox icon of the notify app and will scroll down and will click on this pair on bluetooth device option once I click, you can see paired successfully message will be displayed and in the Bluetooth option, the MSV GTS 2 Mini will be paired and connected with your phone. And if you go to the Bluetooth device list, you can see it is there again in the Bluetooth device list and this MSV GTS 2 Mini is connected with the phone. So after it has been connected, you are ready to use the camera shutter and the smart unlock feature so first i will show you the smart unlock feature so for this you need to come to the settings of your phone i am using the oneplus phone you will be having a similar option in your settings and come to the security option once you come to the security option you will get this option of smart lock so this is the smart lock which you need to set for using the MSV GTS 2 Mini as the unlocking device for your phone. So I have entered into the smart lock option and here it is showing that keep your device unlocked when it's safe with you. So this MSV GTS 2 Mini whenever it will be nearby my phone will be automatically unlocked and a password will be not required to unlock the device or any fingerprint pattern or anything like that it will directly unlock my device if the MSV GTS 2 Mini will be nearby so I will be clicking on got it here and once I click on got it you need to click on the trusted devices and once you have clicked on trusted devices you have to click on add trusted device here you have to select the MSV GTS 2 Mini once you have selected that click on yes add and now it is connected to the trusted devices and I will not require to unlock my phone manually now whenever I will be with the MSV GTS 2 Mini my phone will be automatically unlocked so let's see you can see that it is already showing kept unlocked by smart lock so let me swipe up and you can see that the device is unlocked because of the MSV GTS 2 Mini and the message is displayed for the first time so that I can know why it is being unlocked so once I have clicked on got it it will unlock the device automatically from next time i don't need to give any password or anything it is getting unlocked automatically so which is great so this is the way you can set the smart unlock with the notify app now what about the camera shutter button is that possible to set with the notify app we will check so for this what you need to do is you need to come to the mailbox icon here and come to the tools option in the tools option you will get this band settings so once you are into the band settings you need to click on this more actions here and once you click on this more options you need to scroll down and find the camera option here so here is the camera option you need to enable it so what it will do is it will display the camera option in the sub menu of the watch so that you can access the camera from the watch directly so once you have set the camera option in the more actions in the notify app then you need to just close and reopen the notify app once again 
so that the settings will be saved in the notifier and once you have done that you have to come to the ms gts 2 mini and once you click this button you can see that the camera remote option will be here so you can see the camera remote option is already in my ms gts 2 mini if in case it is not getting displayed then there is another trick which you can perform so you can go into the app menu and click on this more option once you click on this more you can come into settings and then you will get this option of preferences once you come to preferences there will be a press and hold the button app which you can set you can set the camera remote app from here and once you have set it whenever you will be pressing and holding this button the camera remote will automatically open so once you have set all these things we will see whether the camera remote is working now or not so for that what we need to do is first open the camera and wait and then we need to come to the watch that is the MSV GTS 2 mini and press and hold this button because we have set the camera remote in the shortcut menu so we will press and hold this button and you can see the camera remote has been started in the MSV GTS 2 mini let's see whether it is working or not so i will be just clicking a random picture from here so you can see the camera remote is working fine here and it is clicking the pictures without any issues so this is the way you can configure the camera remote and the smart unlock options via the notify app it's super simple super easy if you are getting any issues in that let me know in the comment section because i will be there to help you guys so that's it guys if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification icon because i will be making more videos like this so thank you guys have a great day thank you